Hello YouTube viewers, once again welcome to the production. This is Discovering World Channel. Thank you once again for your subscription to the channel and for the contribution we made so far to keep the channel going. This is the only channel that educates you as long as real estate is concerned. For some time now we have been in how to design and develop a free energy generator, some of the rudiments and things you need to do to enable you get the generator going. And we've discussed so far about the generator, the electric motor and other things. And today I'm going to tackle another issue, another area that is very important, which uh, many of my subscribers have been asking questions about. Uh, I received a comment, and that comment, one of my subscribers asked a question: Why do you put flyway in the French generator? Why do you? Why is, what is the need for a flyway? And since the questions have been so frequently asked by so many people, I decided to make a video on that so that you can have a comprehension, full understanding, on reason why we introduce flyway in a French generator. First of all, uh, I want you to understand the basic thing, what is flyway? What is really flyway? Why Why do we need flyway? What is the basic? Why is it necessary? As long as French is concerned, is concerned what is the basic that flyway should be introduced on the French generator? First of all, a flyway is a mechanical device physically designed to efficiently store regional energy. A flyway is a mechanical device physically designed to efficiently store a rotational energy. You see, flyway basically, this is the picture of a flyway, as you can see it here, it's, it's a new about flyway. This is what we're referring to here. Flywheel basically store rotational energy. Now, somebody may ask, how does flywheel store energy? In which area does flywheel store energy? What? Why? How do you? How do you account? How do you say that flywheel store energy? What is really the energy flywheel store? Yes, that's a very good question because I believe many subscribers will ask a question: Where is the energy stored by flywheel? Where did it store the energy? Now, let us go further. You see, a flyway resists changes in rotational speed by their moment of inertia. You see, flyway on its own resists changes. For instance, if a flyway is rotating from clockwise and then at that speed and you want to turn it into anti clockwise, you're going to have a very big resistance. Because as it moves clockwise, you cannot easily turn it to anti-clockwise. That is why I put it in the flyway resists changes in rotational speed by their moment of inertia. Now, what is inertia? Inertia is the resistance of any physical object to any change in its velocity. For what is some of you have done much in physics, or if you have physics. You understand what I'm talking about. Now, if if this is a force, this is a, a speed that is going on now, and the velocity now, and you want to uh, change this force, this is meant to rotate from clockwise, and then you want them to change it to anti-clockwise, you are going to face a very big resistance because it's been designed at this stage to run at what clockwise now if you want to change it to anti-clockwise you need to change the other forces or the design to enable it now rotate into anti-clockwise so that what the flyway does now if you look at physically you see something like this on this place now now this is a a bucket of sand and this is a, an anti bucket now if for more if you want to push this this bucket of sand to move you observe that you you experience some force or resistance. 
yes you experience some force of resistance it will not be as easy as it will be when you are pushing this empty bucket this is also applicable to this area of flyway here if this is designed to rotate it is also applicable to flyway and every other movement object if this is being designed to move from clockwise and then you now want to turn into anti-clockwise you feel resistance and that resistance is what I will call inertia which is what is here inertia is, is now this is what I talk about now the amount of the energy stored in a flyway is proportional to the square of its rotational speed and its weight this is very important because we are discussing flyway here and you are going to know about the important flyway and why because I have uh, they have asked question from my channel and somebody asked this question why do I what kind of weight of flyway can I use in my friend generator or what is the can I use the light flyway or can I use heavy flyway or what is why is flyway and that is question so this is very important because I know you want to know what weight you're going to use now this area answer your question you see the amount of energy store in a flywheel is proportional to the square of its original speed and its weight so the amount of the energy which the flywheel will store to enable you are generated to keep going it is directly proportional towards the weight and the speed so if you want to have more speed or if you want to have more energy store on your flyway then you should make it more having more speed and you have more weight this is very important because i know just of you are into we are all in just of you who are prepared to go into this uh, energy production like I, I do you must have know all these basics so that you know we have a good knowledge on why why some certain energy generator uh, could not produce light as expected and why others are producing light in a very fast speed now let's continue now the higher the speed the higher the storage what am i mean when the speed is fast when the weight is heavier the higher the storage now what is really about the storage that's my question somebody has what is really about this storage why is this story where is this thing stored now let us go ahead and explain this better now i'm going to explain why why the storage using this uh, practical uh, practical video which i believe you have to know because many will ask why the storage is a practical video that is designed I'm going to explain the basic why the storage, where is the storage. I'm going to explain this using this uh, particular video because without so, you will not understand it. It look as a historical explanation. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look at this video. Let me hold on there. Now you observe this is a tire is a tire that is constructed and then this is generator and this is electric motor now if you observe the speed of this tire is in a very high speed then the high speed of this tire which is now the flyway because what is here in this place is the flyway don't misunderstand it this is a flyway but this flyway is in form of tire I know you may ask why tire when anything you can use to construct flyway is not flyway that does not have a particular uh, structure or design but as long as it's something that can rotate you that is a flyway I'm going to do that a video on that area uh, what how to construct a flyway this is a flyway and now if you just have now this is a flyway made of tire now if you observe the speed of this flyway is very very high and you see the weight of the tire also is also heavier 
Now, in this case now, if for instance I want to, uh, this is the 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 motor and this is the generator, and I have my initial power supply from the external power source, maybe from the batteries or from the any other power sources. Now, and I want this. This is a seven generator, and I want it to run on its own without the external influence, without the external power again, without the batteries. This flywheel now would do the initial power storage. How? 